hi everyone and welcome back so in the last video we have done the node.js intermediate problem number one this is the problem number two i clone this code i mean there are two options either you can do on the web ide or you can clone the code so i did clone and i want to debug this problem and do this locally so this is the problem statement this is the node.js intermediate statement node.js intermediate certification problem number two okay it's like some authorization middleware complete the middleware.js module which contains nothing right now and read the problem statement the module default export it takes uh, i mean middleware is something where you can intercept the request it is passing x role header and that will decide if user has access to that particular route or not okay the scope of the route is passed to the middleware as a string so if you see these routes we are passing the scope as a task task is maybe the entity and this is the operation name right this is being passed okay so so that the role scope mapping is stored in the file roles.txt So for the admin role, the scope is this. On the task entity, he can do create get by ID. If the role is customer, then the scope is this. On the task entity, he can do get by ID. This is a kind of clear, but we need to write a parser logic. But so we need to read the roles after capturing X role header from the middleware. And then we need to check if the user is allowed, if that particular role is allowed for this particular task or not so if we see this task dot create get my id app dot js okay this is the middleware right so what we are getting first of all we are passing x role x role can be a customer or can be admin right if x role is a customer here you can see if x role is a admin then he should be allowed to do task dot create or task dot get by id if x role is a customer then he will be allowed only to do task dot get by id task dot get by id the customer cannot access this route only admin can access both task create and task get by id based on the rule which is written in the readme file okay you can see this is the role we need to check the role which is which we are getting in the x role if role is admin on the task scope he can do both uh, on the task entity he can do both the tasks both the uh, he can access both the methods you can say okay <clears throat> so uh, this is just all about okay if the the scope is not matching you should send 403 right all these things if x role header is not present in the json you should return 403 all these requirements so we will write the middleware.js okay so middleware.js is simple what we are doing here is first of all we have to get the role const role we are getting from the request dot headers x role first of all if role is there then do this Otherwise, what we need to do, we need to send a status code response dot status 403 dot json whatever empty. Here we need to do all the calculations. Now we already know that we have a roles.txt file. So we have to read it. No any other option. fs dot read file and we already have this roles file role file and there is a callback what will be the encoding while reading the file utf8 and either we can get the error while reading the file or we get the data this is error first callback if we got the error that means we need to just send the status to 403 with the error or just a json with empty object if we got the data right let's say if we got the data 
so we will just get the data to so first of all we need to get the scope so what what is the scope where the scope is defined so first we will can get the mapper and what we will do is we are reading the file so we have to parse it the file to get the data so data dot to string first let's convert the encoding utf8 i mean i i encountered this issue that's why i will be adding this logic i have to replace these special characters to string replace because i was not able to parse it even if uh, i was having the proper data so this kind of encoding you have to remove once we got the mapper you can uh, so what we need to do now we got the role we got the file we got the file data so here we need to check if is allowed right so we need to write a simple logic const is allowed we can write a simple method check role and there we can pass our mapper object and uh, what else we have so we also need to pass the scope right so we are getting the scope scope will be like this scope will be task and create okay so first of all split these values so it can be local scope and the action that we will get using just a split using dot so i'm talking about this task dot get by id so in that case the local scope will be the task and the action is get by id so we'll pass all these properties local scope action and the role and then this particular method is going to decide that we are allowed to access or not if is allowed is true then do the next otherwise we'll just simply say is response dot status 403 dot json empty object this is our the whole logic now the whole logic we have to write in the check role method we can create a sim separate function which will do this thing here we are passing the mapper object local scope and action and the role so if you see mapper is object local scope is like the task action is get by id role is let's say admin right and we already have this json hierarchy so mapper mapper object how the mapper object looks like mapper object looks like this now you can think of how can we parse this thing right there is a role admin scope we just need to check if the role is admin and the scope is task and the action is get by id then allow this user so we can just let i of mapper and here if we need to check we need to move forward if the role is same as i dot role because in this mapper object there are both the roles uh, customer and the admin if the role equal equal to i dot role let's say we are just checking for the admin then we will get the scopes equal to i and then if scope of local scope if this is there then we will just do a comparison if scope of the local scope and then this is an array right if this includes your action right i'm talking about this or array 
scope of the local scope is the task that includes because this is an array includes this particular action which is get by id or create if this is true then return true otherwise if nothing then return false from this function okay. yeah <clears throat> and this is the whole logic plain and simple right if role is i dot role we are talking about one role one by one we got the the scope from this object from this object scope will be the tasks right so inside a task are you allowed to access create or get by id based on your role is written here okay now you can push it and then we can just run the test cases on the on the heroku on the sorry hacker ring if everything passes we are good uh, thanks everyone so here also we can see that the same problem same code statement check or check role and here is the middleware first we are reading the role property and then for role, if the role property is there then we are reading the file if the file is there is some problem while reading the file send the unauthorized or forbidden and then you get the you split the action you are getting the scope and the action and then from this file from based on the data from this file you have to check if user is authorized you have to check a role if is allowed then allow him otherwise send a 403 so here you can see we can run the test and if everything is passing we can submit this so this is a simple authorization middleware code right what we have to do is we have to read the scope name and the action name from the file and we have to check if user is authorized and all the test cases are passing not one failing but i think uh, this is just a timeout we can still submit this and we can submit uh, the nodejs 